Are you wondering how to digitize your old family photographs? Do you have a lot? Are you wondering if you can do it yourself or if you need to hire someone else? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. So you are in the right place today. Hi, I'm Lisa Listen with the blog Are You My Cousin? Um, I write about all things genealogy related and I hope to take out the overwhelm of your genealogy research. So you are in the right place. We are talking about digitizing old family photographs today. So before we get started, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button down below. That way you will not miss any videos as they um, are uploaded here to the Are You My Cousin YouTube channel. Okay, so when it comes to digitizing your old family photographs, you've got two options basically. You can either do it yourself, DIY it, or you can hire it out. So there are a couple of things to think about if you choose to DIY your digitizing your old family photographs. You're going to need a couple of things when you DIY digitizing your photographs. You're going to need a flatbed scanner, if possible, or a portable scanner. So a flatbed scanner so that you're not running, you can just place that photograph flat down on the, uh, the scanner bed and scan it that way. You do not want to be running your family photographs through a um, than automatic feeder. You don't want to risk damaging those old family photos. So you want a flatbed scanner, particularly for those antique or those older family photos. Now a portable scanner such as a FlipPal is another good option. I'll leave you a link down below for that. But that's a, a good option as well. And the reason I like, I actually have both the flatbed scanner, but I also have my FlipPal scanner. It is portable. It allows me then when I visit family members and they have a photograph that I want a copy of, I can just scan it right there. That way I am not having to beg, borrow, and steal and try to figure out how to talk them into letting me have it so I can get a copy of it. Um, in a pinch, I will take a digital photograph with my camera or scan it with my phone, but I like having that flip pal. It's an easier way to um, get a good scan that way. Also, the nice thing, if you have large photographs that would not fit on a, just a, a scanner at home, a flatbed scanner, that that flip pal scanner is a really nice one because you it has a stitching feature so you can lay it and you just you scan it in in sections and then the software will put it together for you so that's another option to do as well so that's kind of a nice adjunct you don't have to have that but it is it is helpful particularly when you're trying to do some of the larger photographs or if you're on the road traveling if you have a lot of negatives that you need or slides that you want to scan then you're probably you're going to need a different type of scanner for that you're just going to need like a little um, one that will is made to scan photographs off of negatives or slides the jumble scanner on amazon is a really good option for that it's portable it's not very expensive um, so that's another option there um, i'll leave a link below for that as well one of the hardest things about doing a diy scanning your photos as well just sitting down and getting it done so Here's what I recommend. Put it on the calendar. Make an appointment with yourself. Hold yourself to that and stick to it. Make that appointment, show up for it and start scanning. Sometimes what folks will do is they'll say, okay, I want to do 10 a day for however long it takes me to get through this box. So you could do that as well. Or maybe you have a dedicated weekend to do it. Um, another option, hire your kids guys that's another good option to have them do is to scan the photographs and also it's also hopefully get them interested in the photos themselves but your kids can certainly do this these guys are tech savvy and can do it i will typically also create a standard format for how i want to label the photographs ahead of time so i'm not looking at it thinking okay how did i do this do i put the first name first or first name last and and how I standardize that all up front so I know when I go in and I want to label those photographs digitally, then I can, you know, I know that I'm always going to put, you know, the last name first, then the first name, then maybe year, whatever, whatever works for you, it's your system. But if you decide that up front and you just create that as part of your workflow, you, it'll go so much faster that way. You're not having to reinvent the wheel every single time. So that would be my tip for that. If you do not want to DIY your um, photographs, scanning that, scanning your photographs, you can absolutely hire a service. There are services out there where you actually, they will send you a box and you can fill the box. And as long as it fits in the box, they'll scan it for a certain price. Things like Legacy Box would be an example of that type of service. Um, 
I, my understanding is it's a good, it's a great service, but you have to mail your photographs to you. So your photographs actually leave your possession. I confess that makes me very nervous, but if you are okay with that, go for it. That's it's, that is a very personal decision to do. Um, so there's that type of option. You can also hire oftentimes people locally. If there are some people, folks locally or companies locally that would do that. Um, I even know some photo organizers who would do it and come to your home to do it. So that's a little bit um, more comfortable for folks to be able to maybe take their photographs somewhere as opposed to putting them in the mail. I, and I understand that type thing. When you're looking for somebody local, make sure that there are you, you know, do your research into the company and just make sure that they are a reputable company, make sure that they're using professional grade scanners and truly know how to take care of your photographs should they take possession of them for any amount of time. That would be my recommendation there. The most important thing when it co comes to digitizing your old family photos is to get it done, <laughs> is to absolutely just get it done. I think that's the thing that holds us back is we think it takes too much time or I don't have the equipment, but if we don't get it done, we risk losing, if anything should happen to those originals, we, ri we risk losing access to our photographs. And that would be a very sad thing indeed. Okay, there you have it, guys. You can DIY digitizing your family photos or you can hire it out. Either one, either one is a great option. It's what you have time for and what your comfort level is if you should um, take your photos somewhere. Not a problem at all. Just get it done. Okay, there you have it, guys. Um, now you know what you need to do. You need to get started on figuring out how to get those digitized. And before you go, though, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos that come, come your way. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye.